and welcome back to RuneScape 3. This is Provis, and I am pleased to bring you yet another quest in the Elf City quest line. So in the last episode, we did the Plague City quest all in one shot. We rescued Elena from uh, some apparent kidnappers who we suspect might be mourners in their zealousness to uh, protect the city from the plague. Or at least we assume it's not for more nefarious purposes. But now we need to see how Elena's doing now that she's been rescued. Hello, Dr. Zealous. You're probably doing the same thing. This is actually a very easy quest, but it is fairly long, so we'll see how well I can chug this through. Elena, how you doing? Good day to you, Elena. You too. Thanks for freeing me. It's just a shame that the mourners confiscated my equipment. What did they take? My distillator. But the, 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 the distill, distillator. Distillator. Distillator? Something like that. I don't even know. My distillator. <laughs> I can't test any plague samples without it. They're holding it in the mourner quarters in West Ardeny. I must somehow retrieve that distillator if I'm ever to find a cure for this awful affliction. I'll try to retrieve it for you. I was hoping you'd say that. Unfortunately, they discovered the tunnel and filled it in. We need another way over the wall. Any ideas? My father's friend Jericho is in communication with West Ardeny. He might be able to help us. He lives next to the chapel. Sounds good to me. Quest begins. Biohazard, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna go find the friend Jericho. It's next to the chapel, they say, huh? Well, I don't know. Don't know who that is, but I believe he's just south of the bank, north of the chapel. He's probably somewhere in this area. Think. I could have crossed the log. That probably would have been faster, but I didn't think about it. Oh, man. All right. So I haven't had a chance to read everybody's comments, but I know there's been a few on the last video. I just kind of jumped straight into it after work today to get moving on the next section. That's Jericho. Hello, sir. Maybe you can help me out here. Hello, Jericho. Hello. I've been expecting you. Elena tells me you need to cross the wall. That's right. My messenger pigeons help me communicate with friends over the wall. I have arranged for two friends to aid you with a rope ladder. Omart is waiting for you at the south end of the wall. But be careful. If the mourners catch you, the punishment will be severe. Thanks, Jericho. That was easy and painless, wasn't it? Yeah, not so bad at all. Okay, well, let's just go to the southern side of uh, West Ardeny. I believe it should be close to the Carnelian House. You might guys remember that, right? Yeah, we helped Felipe become a hero, which surprisingly was one of my more viewed episodes in, uh, <laughs> in the RuneScape channel. But, eh, whatever. You know what? If people like seeing a little snop-nosed brat become a, become a hero, then awesome. You know, great for them. Everyone loves a good story of redemption, right? Yeah, of course. All right. Um, da, 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 da. Oh, there's Omart. Omart! Hello, sir. You gonna help me out here? Omart, Jericho says you might be able to help me. Inform me of your problem, traveler. I would be happy to help. I have a rope ladder and my associate, Kilron, is waiting on the other side. Good stuff. Unfortunately, we can't risk it with the watchtower so close. So first, we need to distract the guards in the tower. How? Try asking Jericho if he's not too busy with his pigeons. I'll be here waiting for you. All right, Jericho, you're gonna send me all the way back? You could have just, I could have just, ugh. Why, why must you make me run back and forth to the same place? Like I said, this is an easy but fairly long quest and this is one of the reasons. I will say I never have liked a quest design where it makes you run back and forth to the same gosh darn places with nothing interesting in between. Boring, boring, boring. It's all right though. Um, blah, 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 blah. So let's see. Where's where's Jericho? We were just there. Starting to get a little lag frame drop for some reason. I haven't quite figured out, but think we'll be okay for the time being. Jericho, how you doing, sir? Hello, Jericho. I need some way to distract the watchtower. Any ideas? Ugh. Nothing springs to mind. Uh, maybe you could shout and scream and call them away? So they chase after me? Yeah. How quickly can you run? No. I don't like this idea. 
Okay, let's try a different idea. Um, well, he likes his pigeons, right? So maybe you could use your messenger pigeons to distract them. You might have some luck with that idea. The pigeons are on the back of my house if you want to try that. Okay, maybe I'll give it a go. Hence, yes, give it a go. I'm going to open up the cupboard first. Take a little look-see. Pigeon feed! Bird feed! Something. Hmm, bird feed. Now what can I do with that? Well, let's go around to the back and find some pigeon cages. We've been here before, I believe, for the one small favor quest. Do I need just one? I think just one will do the job fine, so let's see. Let's go back around to the watchtower, which is where... A lot of mourners are just hanging around and watching the area, hence why it's called a watchtower. Yeah, that blows your mind, doesn't it? You never would have thought that something called the watchtower would be a tower from which people watch things. Yeah, yeah, that's just that's just too obvious. Oh, I surprised myself with my genius and my ability to pick apart words and find their definition. All right, so let me think here. So we're at the watchtower. Now, I could stand in the corner... And let's see, right here, if I use bird feed on the fence, I throw a handful of seeds onto the watchtower. Now we're going to open up a pigeon cage. Those are not pigeons, FYI. The mourners are frantically trying to scare the pigeons away. This is my chance. Let's go back to Omart. Uh, where are you, sir? Oh, a mourner is hanging around outside. What are you doing out here on this side of the wall, sir? You don't belong here. Oh, Mart, we're good. Well done. The guards are having real trouble with those birds. You must now go, Traveler. It's your only chance. Oh, Mart calls to his associate. Kill Ron! He throws one end of the lap ro rope ladder over the wall. You must go now, Traveler. Okay, let's do it. And... How's he up? There we go. I'm now on the other side. Hi, Kilron. How you doing? Hello, Kilron. Hello, Traveler. Do you need to go back over? N not yet, Kilron. But thank you very much. I do appreciate that. Okay. Just give me the word. Well, guys, we're back in West Ardeny, so I need to find a distillator. Whatever the heck that thing is. I don't even know. All right. Uh, I believe we want to go to the Mourner's Headquarters, which should be in the northeastern corner of the city. I doubt that I'll be allowed in, but we do have to check that area just for the sake of the quest. Uh, this looks like the Headquarters. Let's try opening this door. Well, it's got lots of spikes and spears around the edge, so I'm thinking they're trying to keep people away. The door is locked. You hear the Mourner's eating. You need to distract them from their stew. From their stew? Why would I ever distract anyone from their stew? Have you ever had stew? Stew is fantastic. That would I would not I would not feel good about distracting people from their stew. Alright, um Well there's a red dot here. I have to think that that has something to do with it. It is a rotten apple. Rotten apples are good. Ooh, vats and mingles. Do there's a cauldron. Are they cooking are they cooking purple glowing stew? Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, they might be. Well, let's see if I can avoid this mourner. Oh, no, don't eat the rotten apple! Dang it. I ate it. Well, gosh darn. I guess I have to wait for another rotten apple to appear. Hang on just a second, guys. Aha! There is another apple. Let's grab that sucker. Rotten apple. Let's not eat it this time. All right, we're going to squeeze through the fence. We're going to right-click and use the apple on the cauldron. There we go. Now let's just hop back out before anyone gets mad at me. Can I do that? There we go. Okay. What happens next? Well, I think we can go around to the front. Hopefully somebody just caught food poisoning or something of that like. So, that should make things a lot easier if that works out. Let's go through the door. Can I hear them? Stay away from there. Why? Several mourners are ill with food poisoning. We're waiting for a doctor. Ah. Well, then maybe I need to be a da doctor. I can be your doctor. Yeah, yeah, I bet you, bet you I could. Uh, let's see, we need to go to Nurse Sarah's house, which is close to the church, I believe, somewhere. Maybe, kind of close. Maybe, I don't really know. Um, 
<laughs> Maybe it's this one down here. I believe it is. If, I, if, if memory serves, it is this building right here. It's been a long time since I did this quest. And by a long time, I mean on the order of like eight years, but it's been around for that long. This is an old quest. But the quest line is still going, so let's talk to Nurse Sarah. Hello, Nuss! Oh, hello there! I'm afraid I can't stop and talk. A group of mourners have just become ill with food poisoning. I need to go over and see what I can do. Huh. Strange, that. Let's open up this box. And I'll see you. Doctor's gown! Now let's go back. All the way back. All the way back! To the mourner headquarters. Okay. Uh, I believe that I have to have the mourner's gear, like, at all times if I want to stay there. So, unfortunately, the cool-looking gear must come off. Goodbye, ancient ceremonial pants. And let's open the door. In you go, Doc. Sounds good to me. Doctor, carrying dragon long swords. No one finds this suspicious at all in particular. All right. Well, we're inside. So, now what? I think I need to go through the door and up the staircase and through the door and kill the mourner. Assassination! Oh, wait, hang on. Let's switch to the next attack bar. There we go. That should make things a heck of a lot easier. <laughs> yeah, he had the plague after all. And I found a key! We like finding keys. Now let's use the key on the gate. And open the gate. Now let's search some crates and see if we can't find her desolator. Not in that one. Not in that one. No. 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 Up, up, up. It's... Aha! Desolator! It looks like a weird breathing apparatus. Things. Okay. Well, I could... I could go all the way around and, you know use the same rope ladder method, but I could also just teleport to Ardeny using the handy dandy lodestone network that makes everything so much faster. We'll just use this instead. Okay. Beow, perfect. And now we'll just cross along over the river as soon as my character finishes loading. Now I'll put back on the cool clothes that I got courtesy of Dykic 2 quite some time ago. Looks good. And... Over the log and cross the river to Elena's house we go. We have a desolator and a something I don't know how to rhyme very well. I'm not a good I'm not very good at coming up with songs and rhymes on the spot. It's just not my talent, you know? You can you can find lots of people who are good at that stuff, but I am not one of them. Elena, I have a desolator for you, sir. Ma'am, fit uh oops, wow, you are gonna hate me forever for that. So, have you managed to retrieve my desolator? Yes, here it is. You have? That's great! Now, now, can you pass me those reaction agents, please? Those look pretty fancy. Well, yes and no. The liquid honey isn't worth much, but other others are. Especially this colorless Athenia. Be careful with the sulfuric broline. It's highly poisonous. You're not kidding. I can smell it from here. She puts the agents through the desolator. I don't understand. The touch paper hasn't changed color at all. You'll need to go and see my old mentor, Gyodor. He lives in Varok. Take these files and this sample to him. Ooh, really? The color hasn't changed at all. But first you'll need some more touch paper. Go and see the chemist in Remington. Just don't get into any fights, and be careful who you speak to. Those files are fragile, and play carriers don't tend to be too popular. Fair enough. We're gonna go to Remington. Best way to do that, go to Port Sarim. You don't want to get in any fights during this time. Seriously, we're not talking about, like... Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I forgot. The plague sample, if I recall correctly, actually breaks if I use the lodestone. Yeah, I'm not kidding. So, uh... <laughs> Yeah, I think the best thing to do is to throw the plague sample and this other stuff in the bank and then teleport. Gosh, I was just about to tell you all the things not to do and I was just about to do one myself. Yeah, you do not want to get in any fights. 
You do not want to use any form of teleportation, or spirit trees, or cabbage port, or fairy rings, or anything like that. Canoes and ships, I think, are okay, but that's pretty much the extent of it. So we're going to go ahead and deposit all of these. There we go. And now let's teleport to a place at the bank. I think Falador is the closest option I can think of at the moment, so we'll just have to do that. It's not an ideal scenario, but it should work. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Just got the uh, Massacre ability, by the way, for two uh, for dual weapons. Man, that's a nice 100% adrenaline ability. Woo! Kick butt with that thing. I loved it. I was massacring lots of jellies for my Slayer assignment. Lots of fun. What the heyday? Well, first off, the mouth looks a little bit like Deathwing from uh, World of Warcraft Cataclysm, but okay. I'll ignore that blatant plagiarism. Now let's grab the plague sample and this other stuff. Okay. Can I use... Oh, gosh darn it. I hit the wrong button. Can I use these agility things? Can I cross under the wall? Or is that too fragile? I don't really remember. Do I want to take the risk? Uh, I don't know. I guess it would be interesting, wouldn't it? All right, let's climb into the underwall tunnel and hope it doesn't break. Please, for the love of God, don't break, don't break, don't break, don't break, don't break. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay, let's go back to the chemist. Now, the chemist is in Remington. I believe he's on the far western side? Yes, directly south of this creepy-looking building with the cabbages. Lots of cabbages here. And onions. This is a great place to get lots of stuff for, uh, soup and stews and all sorts of stuff like that. But we're not interested in any of that, are we? No, we're not even interested in the friendly old witch who lives in there. We are interested in the chemist. Hello, female leprechaun. How are you? Uh, Mr. Chemist, sir. I need... There we go. Sorry, I'm afraid we're closing now. You'll have to come back another time. It's okay, I'm Elena's friend. Oh, well, that's different then. Must be pretty important to come all this way. How's everyone doing there, anyway? Wasn't there some plague scare? I need some more touch paper for this plague sample. Oh. Oops. He did not like the fact that I told him I had a plague sample. Well, golly darn. I need to redo that. Note to self. Do not tell anybody I'm carrying a plague sample. Period. This is a lesson for you guys to learn. Don't, don't, don't make the same mistake. I'll be back once I've got some more.